So recently I talked about uh, uh, counterpoint a little bit and improvising using the idea of counterpoint, sometimes to help you get out of a rut, sometimes just to sound cool. Um, and that was opposed to the sort of vertical block chord thinking that we sometimes get in the rut of uh, when we're improving. So uh, I wanted to follow up with a, uh, a challenge today, uh, which is, I guess we're going to call it the duet challenge. And uh, you're, the, the idea of this is that you're going to limit yourself to one voice in the left hand and one voice in the right hand only. Okay? So what I mean basically is that at any given moment, there can't be any more than two notes going. Okay? So left hand note, right hand note. So you can't add any, add any third thing. Um, the best examples of, of this probably are the Bach inventions, um, which are great sight reading practice, also great everything practice. Um, so take a look at those. Uh, I'm kind of using that as a model, although I will say that I can't sound like Bach, so I'm going to end up sounding like myself a bit. Uh, but I'm going to try to demonstrate um, a, a two-voice uh, duet improv right now. Um, notice there are a lot of different techniques you can use. Uh, you can have them answer each other. You can have them play at the same time. You can have them do the exact same thing. A lot of different things you can do with two voices. Um, another great example to look at would be uh, the E minor fugue um, from Bach's uh, book one of the Well-Tempered Clavier. That's a great sort of two-part. So uh, I'm going to do something that's <laughs> be a little less intimidating than trying to sound like Bach. So I'm going to do my own thing here, but I do want you to kind of listen and see if I use some of these techniques. Can I do some uh, question answer? Can I harmonize, you know, uh, different things? So let's see what happens. <laughs> 